In this video, we're going to take a look at the uh, binomial probability distribution or binomial random variable. The uh, binomial probability distribution is used to model situations where there are, are exactly two possible outcomes for an experiment. We often call that a trial as well. Um, the two uh, outcomes are usually de deemed to be either a success or a failure. So that, those are names given to these two possible outcomes. Uh, for example, let's say you're tossing a coin, a normal coin that has a head and a tail, one each on each side, uh, and you're observing whether heads or tails occurs. So we could call the event that a head comes up a success, and when a tail occurs, that would be the opposite, so we would deem it a failure. And now you could call the, uh, the tail a success and the head a failure. It really wouldn't matter, okay? but you have to define it one of those two ways. Another example uh, is that you're tossing a six-sided die, and somebody might say, well, there are six possible outcomes. How could this be binomial? But you have to define your variable here that you're collecting data on um, as uh, such that there's only two possible outcomes. There are six numbers on a die, but you could say, well, let's say that, um, define it this way, if you call an odd number a success, then if a 1, 3, or 5 comes up, it's a success. So a 2, 4, or 6 would be an even number. That would be deemed a failure. Uh, you could say, well, I'm observing whether a 1 or 2 comes up. Okay, So having a 1 or 2 comes up is a success. So 3, 4, 5, or 6 would be a failure. So uh, that's how you have to define it. So there's only really two possible outcomes, even though, for example, there's six sides on a die. To calculate the probability of x successes, now notice there's a little bit of very specific terminology here. This is the lower the lowercase letter x. It represents the number of successes we're looking for um, in n trials. So n is how many times you're performing the experiment, like how many times you're throwing the die or tossing the coin. Now, so the capital X here represents the random the bi binomial random variable. The probability it's equal to this number x is equal to n choose x. So this is the combination, the number of trials choose what we're trying to find the probability of, how many times a success comes up, times, and uh, p here is the probability of a success on any one trial. So that's what p represents. And we'll take a look at some specific examples in the next couple of pages. So it's raised to the power of x, whatever this is. So if we're looking for x successes, it's the probability of a success to the power of x. q here is the probability of a failure. It's always 1 minus whatever p is. And it's raised to the power of n minus x. So uh, n choose x times p to the x. So this exponent here is the same as the second number in the combination. And the uh, exponent on the uh, failure probability is always this minus this. So flipping over to uh, example 1 here, you roll a six-sided die 20 times. And you want to calculate the probability of getting a 1 or a 2 eight different times. So uh, we've done it 20 times, so n would be 20. Uh, the probability of a 1 or 2 coming up, if it's random, uh, that's two numbers out of 6, which would re reduce to 1 third. 2, 6 reduces to 1 third. So the probability of a success is 1 third. We're trying to find the probability it happens eight times. That's why little x is 8. And if p is a third, to calculate q, you go 1 minus uh, p. So 1 minus a third would be 2 thirds. So that's all the, uh, the, the information we need to use the uh, formula. So here's the formula from the previous page. And so um, little x is 8. Uh, there's 20 trials, so 20 choose 8 here. Uh, p is a third, so it's a third to the power of 8. And then 2 thirds is q, so to the 20 minus 8, this minus this. So uh, 20 minus 8, of course, is 12. So that's raised to the power of 12. That's the only thing I've done from this step to this step. So uh, use your scientific calculator. 20 choose 8 is 125,970. A uh, third to the 8 is 0 0.000152. And 2 thirds to the power of 12 is 0 0.0077. I am doing some rounding here. Uh, I'm keeping several dozen pla decimal places, so it's fairly accurate. If you multiply it out, you get 0.1474. So it's about 14.7% chance. Uh, this is what the calculation looks like in my graphing calculator. Uh, this is a more exact value. Notice it, past the uh, third digit, it starts to be different. And that's only because this is more accurate because I haven't done any rounding here. So it's still about 14.7% chance. In example two, so you live in an area where historically, and perhaps the local meteorologist has told you this, the chance of rain on any d given day is 20%. 
So what you're asked to, to determine, what's the chance of less than three days of rain in the month of June? Well, June is 30 days, so uh, there's 30, each day would be a trial here. So N is 30. Uh, we're told that the probability of rain in the A is 20%, so P would be 0.2 or 0 0.20. To find Q, we use 1 minus P, so that works out to uh, 0 0.8, so that's uh, a failure would be a day it didn't rain. Most people would think of that in the opposite way, but that's okay. So here's our formula, and we'll fill in uh, N is 30, uh, P is 0.2, and the Q is 0.8, so that's what we would use to calculate the probability of of a certain number of days, x number of days of rain. Now we're asked to find the chance of less than three days. So if the problem, the random variable is less than three, that includes no days of rain, one day of rain, and two days of rain. We wouldn't include three because three isn't less than three. So we need to calculate each of these individually using this and then add those three probabilities up. So zero, the probability of no days of rain, we put zero here, here, and here. That's that calculation. For one day of rain, one goes here, here, and here. So that's that calculation. And for two days of rain, we put two here, here, and here. And that would be that calculation. Now, 32, zero is one. And 0.2 to the power of zero is also one. So this is really just 0.8 to the power of 30. 30 choose one is 30 times 0.2 to the one. And then the exponent here on the 0.8 uh, simplifies to 29. 30 choose 2 is 435 times 0.2 squared, and then this would be 0.8 to the 28th. So we need to calculate uh, each of those. So 0.8 to the 30th is 0.0012. If we multiply these together, you get 0.0093, so that's the chance of one day of rain in the month of June. And uh, multiplying this out, we get 0 0.003, sorry, 0337. So add them up, and we get this. So that means there's about a 4.4% chance of less than three days of rain in June. One last part with another example. The expected value of a, pro a binomial probability model is the number of trials times the probability of success. So NP, very simple little formula. So from the previous example, N was 30 days in June, and the probability of rain in a day is 0.2. So you're asked to calculate the most likely number of days of rain in June. So n piece, we'd multiply 30 by 0.2, which is 6. So that means that the most likely number of days of rain is 6. That would be the uh, number of days with the highest probability as well. That's what expected value means. It's the most likely outcome. And that's the end of the lesson.